Now coming to the ladies, Genesis 2 and verse 18. Genesis 2 and verse 18. Okay. Then, and Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Can we have it in the New Living Translation, please? Then the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper, that is what? Just right for him. So when it comes to marriage, we have a man under assignment that has a purpose, a man that is submitted to God, a man on assignment. And then God saw this man and said, ah, you are doing well. You don't have to, in fact, you may just be on the way. Maybe you just started the journey or you just had the vision. You are not even in the assignment yet, but you have an idea. You have an inkling of where God wants you to be. You're already on assignment because you know what God, you are submitted. And God is saying that, don't worry, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. When I met my husband, we were all students. I met my husband when I was 15 years old. We were not dating then, but I met him. So I knew the journey, but I knew that at the end of the day, when he proposed, we were still, we're just, he had just finished school. I was about to finish. He wasn't working yet. He wasn't in ministry. In fact, he was not, he didn't think that God was going to call him to start ministry at that time. But I knew that this was a man that had a vision. So he was on the way. So God said in verse 18, it is not good for this man to be alone. I will make a helper that fits him. A helper that is just right for him. When we talk about helper, the Holy Spirit is our helper. The Holy Spirit is not to do our, not to rule our lives in that sense. He is to assist us. So when, at times when we are saying, God, um, I hand over this project. It's good. But at the, the truth is, you are actually working it out. You have plans. And say, Holy Spirit, help me. Because that's what he does. He helps us with the wisdom. He helps us with the strength. He helps us with comfort. The same way, when we say a helper, a helper is not to take over. A helper comes, is by saying, personally, please, I want to take, carry this speaker. Of course, when I say come and help me, it's actually you. I'm handing it over to you. But I'm saying, assist me. So that means you take one part, I take one part. And I'm telling you, where we are going, I'm taking it down the step. Do you understand that? So a woman or a wife comes already loaded. That is why, no wonder Proverbs 18, 21 says, he that finds a wife finds what is good. The helper trait is in her. That is why women can multitask. It's inbuilt that we can, we can do it all. Not that we can do it all, but we have the... the ability the capacity to assist you to pray to help with you know to 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 to, to encourage to encourage you to help with the task hi hope you love that video kindly subscribe and click the notification bell to see more videos like this